chargé le jus si l'autre on Set off. The computer said monitor has a huge crack in it too. Please be locked. Please be locked. Safety has a very good slot inside. That fucking thing looks so disgusting. What do you call it? PC. Nothing that we can do here. Plastic car. I that the plastic and the stuff from the medium key in the safe. Safe. You can open it. Safe. Fuck you. working left if they have found solution it's a substance they've dubbed simply the REM it targets the limbic system and body into a state of calm once it in this state the brain begins to cast the same burden of aggression towards this idea for <laughs> When making decisions by answering questions first, you will keep this information under lock and key. Until we have permission from our superiors to this clear. So we tested the substance on the people there. Just getting back to the save. I'm back. Time to explore the world. Time to put the headset away. We need to that shit.
Catherine. Oh hey, Alistair. What are you thinking? This place is is. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why shouldn't I be? You're acting a bit strange. And yeah, sorry about that. I just really wanted to take a look around, find anything interesting. Oh no, but I'm glad you're safe. But I really, really think it's time to leave. We've been here long enough for one night. Sure, let's go. I'm a bit tired anyways. You're right about the boring place. You've located Catherine. I was partially falling asleep by the time we made it outside the building. Else they made us take the fire escape. Do you refuse to tell me why? Despite that, I said in the end, I did have fun that night exploring creepy old buildings. I like to talk about that night with him often, but when I ever, when I do, he becomes distant and gloomy almost. There's something he's not willing to tell. On the way back to school, I passed by the fence that surrounds the institute. Alistair always looks away. He was never the same after that night, but I've, I ne I've never been able to work out why. Perhaps he'll tell me one day, perhaps. No end. Okay, that was the normal end. Ugh. I'm so fucking creeped out. Let's get the other endings then. It doesn't look like it's. I'm listening to it in, in one ear. I fled Swilcred trying to put a much distance between me and the damn building as possible. I never once looked behind me as I ran. I never saw that monster again once it chased me off the grounds. I don't even know what those things were, but I don't care. To me, they'll always be the thing that took my sister Catherine. I never did find her. I can only guess those men are still talking about the institute today. But Catherine inside, I can't go back there. I'm too afraid. She really have been so quick to escape in the heat of the moment. I forgot everything except the monsters behind me. Now I have to live out the rest of my life knowing that my cold actions got my sister killed. Forgive me, Catherine. Rest in peace. Bad ending. Oh, goosebumps, goosebumps! Can't open the door, we just need to blast the way. Catherine, oh hey, yes. Good, I'm scared because I hear people again outside. I'll just wait here for a bit. Okay, I now know how to do the good ending. Go up where the bad ending is, but we go to the left. Locked. This will calculation is a tool. 
November 29, 1995, Dr. Simonsen, chief medical officer, fir Firestorm Pharmaceutical was added. Uh, Dear Dr. Solomon, I don't know what went wrong to drug test performed on inmates should have injury eliminated by the drug and impulses they had. We couldn't have even anticipated the horrendous side effects, extreme suggest extreme suggestiveness and obsessive behaviors don't even begin to describe it rather than eliminate recent violent thoughts the drug seems to bring them about more often and combine it with the suggestibleness that truly really makes the subject believe they are uh, receiving Reliving the memories, the majority of the memories brought about seem to be one related to their recent study since session in the archives on the Babotic Plague epidemic of England in 1348. I have ordered the immediate shutdown of Swilkrat and immediate transfer of any non affected inmate to a nearby prison. The remaining inmates are to be locked up inside the building until then. We can't come to bear the shame of what we've done to these people. We'll have to let time solve this problem for us. Yeah, so the thing that should make them less violent made them more violent. And they now really like the plaque doctor because they were interested that they read about it and they think they have plaque doctor doctors that's why they have the mask and the treatment basically was killing someone but it would kill you and they try to treat us uh, nice it's really hard to read the stuff though because it's really small on my screen I locked the door with the something something key. I can put the headset away because I don't want to be in distress. It's a huge boiler. Scary files include letters addressed to Swilkrat's chief medical officer when he punished and detached new drugs on inmates. We all know how that went. Catherine, oh my gosh, Alistair. Where have you been? Are you okay? I'm alright, pretty interesting place. Why wouldn't I be okay? Is anything wrong? Catherine, you ran away and those monsters. Monsters? What? Hey, I'm too old for that kind of stuff. Catherine, I'm absolutely serious. There's something not right in Wolfgrad. Something very bad. What? You're scaring me. A bit now. I'll stare. Have you not seen them? Never mind. We can just leave now. I don't think I'd be able to live with myself knowing what has gone on here. What are you thinking about? Now you know this place, that's a bit freaky, don't let it get through your head. You'll forget about it uh, eventually. Nice to see you too, by the way. There's no way. But if they escape the building, they could be on the streets right now. Alistair, calm down, hey. Oh, hey. Did you see the boiler in the other room? And are you being serious about all this? Shush, Irvine, but yes. I remember seeing the boiler. Do you think... We could make it destroy the building. I guess so. I don't know how these things work. The pressure would make it explode, right? Just keep turning the wheel. And the building and things inside will get blown to bits. You can't be serious about destroying the building. What kind of monsters? Now isn't the time, Catherine. Let's just do it and finish it. Uh, right.
We ran, leaving the inside suit behind. True to our plan, we rigged the boiler to explode. It was the next day when it happened, just some low rumbling at first, followed by a huge distant explosion. The police wouldn't let anyone near the wreckage, but I could see even from behind the caution tape the building had been destroyed completely. I know what me and Catherine did was the right decision. If we hadn't done it, it wouldn't be done for someone else. Got so curious about the school correctional institute. I would have liked to tell someone about our heroic actions that night, but how would they believe us? Catherine still isn't sure. She knows what I was on about. I experienced so many terrible things here, but I want to say myself, I feel better about myself than I did before the incident. No, I'm even more curious than I was before, but it's a good thing. How boring life would be without curiosity. How incredibly dull. Anyway, let's say you the cops were planning to search through the debris of circuit and clear it out. Then I heard the news it'd be a Then I heard the news. I'd be lying if I said my heart didn't stop for an instant. Would they find what I what had been hidden inside the building so long ago? It wasn't possible Anything could have survived the explosion, right? Right, as far as I know, the terrible secret of Swilkart is hidden and will remain forever so. Perfect end. I wish the text wouldn't be so tiny on my screen. Especially the ones in the small text. This was kinda okay, but still, eh. Uh. Hope you enjoyed it. I got the shit scared out of me. And until next time, see you, peace out.